Hello, my name is Danae Smith with the Arizona Humane Society. Today we're going to be going over crate training. Crate training is a great way to make life a little bit easier for you and your pet. There are many benefits of crate training, such as travel with your dog, or if your dog is recovering from an injury, they'll be more relaxed and won't get stressed when you need to use it. A crate can be a nice, quiet, safe spot for your dog to relax. Crate selection is also important. You want a crate that's big enough that your dog can stand up fully, turn around, and lie down comfortably. If you have a small puppy, it's best to get a crate with a crate divider so you can make that space a little bit smaller so they don't lay down on one side and use the bathroom on the other. Crate training can take up to days or weeks depending on your dog's past. Things like age, temperament, and past experiences can affect the process. Two things to keep in mind are steps should always be slow. Don't try to go too fast with training. Also, you want to make sure everything is a positive association with the crate. Now, let's head to the home and check in on Blitz. Place your dog's crate in a low traffic but common area, somewhere he can relax but not feel isolated. For the purpose of this video, we're gonna have the crate and blitz out where we can see them. Make sure your crate door is open. It's a good idea to also secure the crate door so that if your dog bumps into it, they won't get startled or scared by the noise. You can use a carabiner or even a shoelace as a good option. Let your dog explore the crate at their leisure. Some dogs will be naturally curious and start sleeping in the crate right away. If your dog isn't one of them, use a happy tone of voice and call your dog over to the crate. Remember to make this a pleasant experience with lots of praise and treats. After introducing your dog to the crate, begin feeding his regular meals inside or near the crate. Each time you feed him, place a food dish a little bit further back in the crate. Once your dog will eat his entire meal comfortably in the crate, you can close the door while he's eating. The first time you close the door, open it as soon as he finishes his meal. With each feeding, leave the door closed a few minutes longer. Once your dog is eating his regular meals in the crate with no sign of fear or anxiety, you can confine him there for short periods of time while you're home. Give him a cue such as kennel or crate and toss a treat inside the crate near the back. Kennel! Yes! When your dog enters the kennel, praise him, give him a treat, and go ahead and close the door. Leave room for three to five minutes. Return and let him out of the crate. Repeat this process several times a day, gradually increasing the length of time. As much as it hurts to hear our furry friends cry, you don't want to let them out of the crate while they are crying. Otherwise, he will learn that all he needs to do to get out is cry. Resist the urge to give him attention while he is crying in the crate. Wait for the moment he is silent. Praise when you let him out. If you are consistent, he will learn that to get out of the crate, he needs to be quiet. And finally, here are some positively helpful hints. Puppies under six months of age and adult dogs that are being house trained shouldn't stay in a crate for more than three hours or four hours at a time as they can't control their bladders for that long. Sometimes leaving a radio or TV on at a low volume or leaving a piece of your unwashed clothing near the crate will help the dog feel more comfortable being alone. Attempting to use the crate as a remedy for separation anxiety won't solve the problem. A crate may prevent your dog from being destructive, but he may injure himself and attempt to escape the crate. It is recommended that you consult a professional for help with separation anxiety. Acclimating your dog to the crate, and especially once your dog is comfortable in the crate for 30 to 40 minutes, consider providing mental enrichment, such as a stuffed frozen Kong toy. You may even consider feeding your dog his meals through a frozen Kong, which can keep him occupied for hours. For more tips and tricks, please visit azhumane.org.